Hey guys, this is Keisha J. Welcome back to Glam Everything. Now today I am back to show you guys my new and improved kitchen. I did a lot of decluttering and redecorating and I am also going to give you tips on how you can create that luxe feel in your kitchen for less. You guys know I'm cheap. <laughs> but if you don't know that because you're not subscribed to my channel, then I would love it if you do so. That will be so, so awesome. And don't forget to hit your notification bell so that you're always notified whenever I upload a video. We're going to start off with an overview and then jump right into the tips. Now personally, I feel a nice bright kitchen is the easiest way to create that luxe look and feel. And before I had this really deep red color on my walls, not you know my best decision but I decided to go ahead and paint that and when we moved into our home nothing was upgraded so we had these really old ugly cabinets so replacing our cabinets was too expensive so I decided to go ahead and paint them and I found some really beautiful luxe looking wallpaper at Lowe's that I decided to add in the middle of our cabinets just the top cabinets I didn't want to do top and bottom because I felt like that would have been a little too much so I just did the top and I absolutely love the turnout I do have a DIY on how I did that is super easy so I will have that in the info cards now another way you can create that luxe look into your kitchen is by adding or replacing your cabinet hardware so I decided to add these nice sneak handles here and on like my bottom cabinets I did some crystal knobs and also on my pantry door I did crystal knobs and those knobs I got from TJ Maxx. It comes in like a box of four, and I believe it was only like $7.99. So another thing you can do to make your kitchen feel luxe is to declutter your island. Before I had a nice big tray here, it almost covered the entire surface and I had it filled with decor. And yes, it was really cute, but honestly, it wasn't practical. So I decided to just stick with one item on my island, especially because it is so small. I just have a vase with some flowers and these are artificial flowers. Every once in a while I will put real flowers here, but I really suck at keeping them alive. So I just go ahead and stick with what I know is gonna last for a very long time. And I got these from Dollar Tree, my favorite spot to go and get artificial flowers. But yeah, I just have them in here and one hack that you can do to make them look realistic, put water in the vase. If you're gonna be doing a clear vase like this one, it'll just give that look of, you know, real flowers. But of course, when you get close up on them, it's gonna be like, yeah, girl, that's fake. <laughs> but who cares about that, right? Now, the next way you can get that luxe look in your kitchen is with a nice backsplash. Now, I decided not to do like the traditional mosaic backsplash because I am very picky and I don't wanna get something that I'm gonna get tired of. And that's kinda like a permanent thing to put in your kitchen. So if you're gonna pick a backsplash that is like a mosaic style, get something that you know you're gonna love forever and never get tired of looking at but I'm a very creative kind of person so I decided to go ahead and just use decor to pretty much decorate my backsplash and I went with some nice mirrors that I got from TJ Maxx yeah I got them from TJ Maxx they come with three in the box and it is only $7.99 you can also find them at Ross and Marshall's and it comes in a variety of styles I decided to go with this one because it was the perfect fit for the space in between my cabinets and my countertop and decor that has a, like a mirrored finish is instant glam to your space and also under cabinet lighting is another way to get that luxe look into your kitchen it looks custom made and expensive 
but you guys know me I'm not about to go and spend thousands of dollars to have someone come out and install under cabinet lighting so what I did was use some tap lights from Lowe's and it was very affordable I think it came three in a pack for maybe like eight or nine dollars and I decided to you know go ahead and take it one step further and add some string lights to the top of my counters and I went with string lights because you can't really see the wire so it's not looking like Christmas all year round in your kitchen so yeah it just looks very professional and beautiful I just love it so so much so I like to use a rubber floor mats in my kitchen I think it gives a nice deluxe look and what I love so much about these in particular they have this really pretty design on them I got them from Ross and it was less than $10 now I don't believe in not having anything on your counter house but I do not like to have like appliances um, on mine and I also decided to you like put my utensils away as well so instead of having it right next to my stove on the counter I decided to put it right here in this cabinet still right next to my stove so that's another way you can have that luxe look is by keeping your counters you know decluttered so that is it for this video guys if you missed my previous video check it out here and if you're not subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit my face right there and I will see you in my next one bye guys